Hello guys, welcome to Cloud Tech. Many people want to become a Java backend developer. And today I'm going to give you which technologies to learn in 2024 to crack your next Java backend interview. So the answer really depends upon the number of years of experience you have, but there is a general set of technologies that you can follow to become a good Java backend developer and stand a chance to get selected. Oh, the first thing that you have to learn is Java, the language itself. So start by learning the fundamental of core Java and practice programs using various features of Java language. Pay special attention to features that are newly introduced and also focus on Java 8 constructs. You should be able to write program using Java 8 features. The core Java is must know thing for any Java backend developer. So next comes the Spring Boot. Most of the companies have REST APIs in their project. And one of the popular framework to design Java REST API is Spring Boot. So you should know how to design REST APIs using Spring Boot framework. So to understand uh, Spring Boot framework, you need to learn basics of Spring. So having knowledge of Spring gives you extra advantage. If you know Spring, then you can relate a lot of concepts about Spring Boot. Comment in the comment section which technology you are excited to learn in 2024. So the next thing that comes is uh, the database. You can learn any database, MySQL, PostgreSQL, or any relational database because majority of companies use at least one RDBMS in their project. So RDBMS is at the core of any Java application. You should know how to connect to the database from your Spring Boot application. Now, the next thing that you can uh, focus on is GPA or Hibernate. Uh, integrating your application with database is one of the common thing in IT companies. And for that, most of the projects use object relational mapping. You can learn any of the ORM tool. Here, GPA stands for Java Persistence API, which is a specification. And Hibernate is the implementation of that specification. Uh, the next thing that you should uh, note is build tool or Maven or Gradle to build the project and produce artifacts. Companies use build tools like Maven, Gradle. You should know how to use these tools to build your application. Uh, you should also learn about unit testing framework. You can learn unit testing frameworks like uh, JUnit or Mockito or both of them. Now, um, many companies are trying to dockerize their application. So Docker is very important uh, technology. Many companies are containerizing their application and Docker is a go-to technology to containerize any application. So learning Docker will give you added advantage if you have experience band around three to four years. Uh, adding Docker in your resume is a good indication that you know about containers. So this is one of the important technologies you can learn and add to your resume. Kubernetes, over time, there are a lot of containers and to orchestrate all these containers, you have to use Kubernetes. So Kubernetes is not necessary, but it's very useful if you learn it. So this is a recommended for experienced developer because Kubernetes is easy to get started, but it is very difficult to master. But once you add this in your resume, you stand a good chance to get interview calls. Uh, Kafka, to handle the stream of uh, data, Kafka is necessary and many companies ask for Kafka specialist. If you know Kafka, then you have very good chance to clear the interview. Uh, next comes is NoSQL database. Having knowledge of NoSQL database gives you extra benefit so you can learn any of the NoSQL database. So that is it about technologies. Best of luck with your preparation.